You gave your resignation as you had been asked to, thinking this is just temporary. Honest before the Lord to save TBN and to honor TBN, I confronted my parents on two very serious issues. One was what I mentioned earlier, the alcoholism. My dad literally was going on the air with me drunk, literally where he was stumbling for words. He had what we called marble mouth. And, and we were afraid on live television, when you're not in your right mind, God only knows what he could say or, or yeah. you know, or, 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 you know, blurt out. We just didn't know. And he was literally going on Praise the Lord program. I had a conversation with my brother and my mother after dad went on live Praise the Lord, just, just not in his right mind. And we got my father help. We got him doctors. We got him as much uh, assistance as we could professionally to try to deal with alcoholism. The doctor told me, your father is an alcoholic just classic and what's the first thing that alcoholics do is they deny 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 but what I did with the assistance of our production director Bob Fatma he he gave me a DVD of one of the behind the scenes that my dad and I did where dad was just not there and I handed it to my father one night and this is where as a son when you're confronting your your own parent On, on the pain that he was suffering and yes. you know his dealing with alcoholism we know that is just trying to mask the pain of I'm sure trauma in his background yes. we, that's yes. a whole other show yeah. but um, he watched the DVD that night and he came back to me that the next morning and he almost came to me like a little child and he just said oh PJ he called me PJ he goes I'm so sorry I am so sorry. So we kind of dealt with that and, and reconciled it, but he was not real happy with me that I had, you know, kind of brought up the elephant in the room. And then I also, as uh, chief of staff, had gotten uh, some footage from a security camera in Orlando, Florida, of a black and white camera that covered our parking lot and I saw footage of my mother and an employee there, a guy named Les Sheveldayoff. He played Jesus at, at that theme park and they were hugging and kissing inappropriately. You know, they were kissing like married people do, not like a peck on the cheek, thanks, and I'm out of here. And I confronted my mother on that issue also by the phone and when I did, she, again, deny, deny, we're friends. I'm literally holding the phone this far from my ear because she was just yelling and tearing me down, saying, how could you bring this up? So both of my parents were not thrilled with me, but I was confronting what I thought I needed to do as chief of staff to save TV in the embarrassment. And yeah. when my daughter's situation came about, uh, all they did is look at me and said, get Kara to drop the lawsuit, get Kara to drop her lawsuit. They were looking at me, she's your daughter, she's your daughter, get her to drop it. And by that point, the attorneys were in charge and I couldn't, so. Out of your hands. It was out of my hands. So they asked for my resignation and I was so like tired of being caught in this storm and caught between a rock and a hard yeah. place. I said, fine, I'm out of here. And so I left and, you know, dad called me a few days later and said, PJ, let's let this settle. Let's, um, we're going to do an investigation, which they did all of the email stuff, it's garbage. And at that point he said, in six months, we'll bring you back and you know, we'll all, let's move on. Let's, and the problem is after about six months, my father's health truly broke. And within a year of me leaving, he was dead. And at that point, Matt moved in, moved in with my mother. They took over the board. You know, they changed whatever they wanted to change. 
And there, at that point, I was I, I couldn't come back if I wanted to. 